Hi, my name is Steve Matthews, and my YouTube handle is Teeth of the Lamb. Today is January 12th, 2019. There's a very remote location uh, here in Oregon, Burnt Mountain, and I could see Mount McLaughlin 94 miles to the southeast, and so I wanted to put that down and uh, in a video and share it with you all of you. Uh, I have some images and these right here that you're seeing now were off of YouTube but this one is the one that I took from 94 miles away. Uh, Mount McLaughlin is 9,493 feet elevation and uh, so it's, it's a big mountain, and um, I was <clears throat> about 1,960 feet high, uh, and this is the uh, calculations of what should be visible and what shouldn't. It seems to me that when you put an eye height of six feet and a distance of 100 miles in the curve calculator, it comes up with about a mile and a quarter of hidden height. And so what I propose to do here is uh, subtract the eye height of the viewer from the height of the mountain and do another calculation. And if that's not right, you guys can correct me in the uh, comments if you'd like. Uh, I'm not very good at this, but over land, uh, it seems to me that's what should be done. I've done a lot of these over water, but, uh, you know, the terrain's different over land. Here's the video that I made. Uh, I'm on Burnt Mountain at about 1,960 feet, looking off to the south, southwest, southeast. And that is Mount McLaughlin, <clears throat> 94 miles away. And you can see uh, most of the mountain. Now I've taken some images uh, here that I'll off of the internet when I was identifying that mountain. And I'll overlay it over the top of that one. And you can see if, if those foreground mountains weren't in the way, I would be able to see the entire mountain. And it's about 4,000 feet to, to the summit from its base. So um, here's the overlay. I was lucky enough when I was trying to identify this uh, mountain, actually it's not a mountain, it's a volcano. There's a whole string of them here in, in Oregon. Uh, but anyway, I was lucky enough to find this image that matched up pretty good. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, sometimes you look at those mountains from a different angle and it's hard to find an image that matches up to them when you're trying to identify them. At first I thought this was Mount Shasta, which is about another 60 or 70 miles across the border in Northern California. And we're, we're looking here at uh, near Medford, Oregon. That, that's where that mountain's about 30 miles uh, north of Medford. <clears throat> and it's in Southern Oregon. But that matches up pretty good. I'd see that whole mountain if those others weren't in the way. And here's just another uh, video of of the same thing. <laughs> and give you an idea of, of the terrain there. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with everybody. And if nothing else, it's still interesting to to see the mountain that far away. Um, enjoy.
here are two other short video clips that I took on my trip out to film Mount McLaughlin. Uh, this is a waterfall on the way. Uh, in the summertime, there's a nice pool down at the bottom, and the truckers that haul logs and stuff, they like to stop and take a bath because it's like in the 90 or 100 degrees up there in the summertime. Uh, then after this, I've got a real short clip. I saw a herd of elk out in the field, and with my P900 or P1000, I was able to zoom in and get some pictures of it, of the elk. Okay, so thanks for watching.